All right, welcome back. Episode 156 of Chaotically Intolerant. We have John back today. We are going to be doing a baseball draft, uh, or not a draft, sorry, a bracket. Um, so we're just going to talk about the best player from each MLB team, and we will go through the bracket with that. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share. Make sure your whole family listens to it. Put it on in the car. Put it on your TV when you're not at home, and then just have the autoplay going so all other episodes play while you're gone for the day for work. Um, and make sure to go back and listen to every single episode we've ever done. There's uh, some good ones. I think that's a reasonable that's a reasonable request, right? I mean, yeah. that's, that's very reasonable. Use up all the data on your Wi-Fi if you have the limited <laughs> Wi-Fi option. Some people do. Um, and let's let's go. All right, so let's jump into this bracket. I'm going to share my screen. I'm excited. Who's your dark horse? Who's your dark horse player to make a deep run? Tony Gwynn. Tony Gwynn does not get the respect I think he deserves no. in, in baseball history. And I'll be history, pumping whatsoever. George Brett the entire bracket. So <laughs> uh, so how this is going to work, we're going to rapid fire for the through the first couple of rounds because we don't want to have to just talk about like a player that's just not going to succeed. And then we'll probably we'll dive deeper in during like the Elite Eight, Final Four, and the championship. Um, but if you are upset about the rankings, about the seeding, we didn't try to go super accurate with the seeding because the cream is going to rise to the top as it always does. At the end, seeding doesn't truly, truly matter. Um, if you're a great player, then you're a great player. Um, and yeah, so and if we miss something, we miss something. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, Babe Ruth at number one. Hank Aaron is number two. Ted Williams, number three. Jackie Robinson, number four. Willie Mays, number five. Nolan Ryan, number six. Roberto Clemente, number seven. Ty Cobb, number eight. Pete Rose, number nine. Cal Ripken, number 10. Randy Johnson, 11. Ernie Banks, number 12. Ken Griffey Jr., number 13. Bob Feller, number 14. Tony Gwynn, number 15. Tom Seaver, number 16. Stan Musel, number 17. Frank Thomas, number 18. George Brett, number 19. Mike Trout, number 20. Robin Yount, 21. Kirby Puckett, 22. Ricky Henderson, 23. Mike Schmidt, 24. Pudge Rodriguez, 25. Todd Helton, 26. Roy Halladay, 27. Max Scherzer, 28. Evan Longoria, 29. And Giancarlo Stanton, 30. Uh, so Babe Ruth gets the bye. And Hank, <clears throat> Hank Aaron also gets the bye because there are 30 players. Stan Musial and Tom Seaver. Where are we going? That is a, that's tough. Musial, 3,600 3, hits, almost four 500 home runs. Let me see. Yeah, 475 in a 300, 330 batting average career. 128 career war. That's wild. He had incredible stats. Tom Seaver, 300 and something wins. But body of work, Musial. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna go mu uh, usual as well. Um, I feel like I feel like playing for the Mets dings you a little bit. Yeah, I mean it was also that was the miracle Mets. That was you know the 1969 Mets. Um, but I I feel like also as a pitcher, it you do get dinged a little bit. I think position players you just do more. You're playing every day versus a pitcher yeah. pitching every three to five days in that time period. On to the next one, Pete Rose and Mike Schmidt. Um, so I know you are an active hater of Pete Rose. Um, do you think he is a uh, what? Uh, he, he's equivalent to Jeff Epstein. <laughs> he is that bad. Maybe not yeah. that bad. <laughs> he's no, not that bad. He's but he's when you when you're in the same conversation, that's bad. Mm -hmm. If you're if if you're like in a group of Jared the Subway guy, Jeff Epstein, and Pete Rose, not a good thing great baseball player but he's up against mike schmidt who is also a really great baseball player um if we're taking into consideration any kind of like morals pete rose is eliminated however i would say he is a better baseball player than mike schmidt unfortunately hey uh so mike schmidt won two mvps he led the national league in home runs eight times he had 548 total uh, he had 18 year career in philly with 12 all-stars nine gold gloves uh, while Pete Rose, most notably, 
leads baseball in, in hits. I mean, he is the major league hit king. Um, I'm not going to take morals into account here. I think we got to judge this based off of baseball players in general, um, like Ty Cobb. Uh, he has a controversial history. I guess some people say maybe it isn't true what he was um, – some of the things he was accused of. He won three batting titles. Um, he also led all MLB players in at-bats, played appearances, and games played. I'm going to go with Pete Rose. He also did it for two teams, if I'm correct. Phillies and Reds, yeah. Yeah. He played for the um, Phillies. I think he was also the better better Philly player. Um, so I'm going Pete yeah. Rose here. Whoops. Nope. Don't reset the scores. There we go. Uh, and and then, then whoever is going to play Pete Rose, we have Pudge Rodriguez and Ty Cobb. I mean, Ty Cobb's easy. Ty, yeah, it's no question. Uh, Willie Mays and Max Scherzer. Um, so for San Francisco, be- yeah, for San Francisco, I did think about putting in Barry Bonds. I wasn't 100 percent sure, um, but Willie Mays felt like the right answer. You know, because yeah. he played six more seasons with San Fran. Max Scherzer also he did win a World Series for Washington, um, but again, no, wasn't no the comparison. Best pitcher, wasn't Mays. the best pitcher on the team during that run. Strasburg had the better postseason. In that so, run, yeah, absolutely, which he just retired. So uh, congrats to Steven Strasburg on one yeah. one hell of a money-making career, I'll say that. Uh, yeah. After he signed that contract, I think he threw like 500 pitches in yeah. Major League Baseball. Injuries are a, are a shame. He would have been yeah. elite. Who's next? Yeah. Yount and Banks, easy. That's Ernie, Ernie Banks. Banks. Yeah, very easy. Uh, Mr. Cub, as you said earlier uh, when we were off the recording. Now, this is an interesting one. Ken Griffey Jr. and Mike Trout. I think it's less interesting than some people would think. Mike Trout, one of the best baseball players of our time, but Ken Griffey Jr. accolades, 600 home run guy. Two guys who whose careers were heavily hampered by injuries. Ken Griffey mm-hmm. Jr. was hurt a lot. Um, however, also he being still on, put together. Also being on under like under succeeding teams, like teams that just yeah. don't historically succeed um but i i do agree ken griffey i i think also like mike trout still playing does hurt a little bit of his yeah. resume because we don't know what he is yet we know what ken griffey jr was um we don't Probably know if trout could play. For mike trout yeah. trout might never play a complete season again in his career trout might never play a playoff game again yeah. in his career <laughs> which yeah. ken griffey jr also notably did not win a world series um i have him Finishing this season with either the Braves or the Phillies, though, I, I don't. Which, I don't think he's going to be because he's he's playing so well right now. Yeah. I think they deal him while the stock while, the, while his stock is high, get a big haul of prospects. The Orioles are an interesting contender there because the his Orioles contract have the prospect. That contract's going to be very difficult to to take. But over if you, if you That's, said, would you agree to restructure your contract in order to play for a winning team? He might because he has plenty of money. Yeah. Yeah, um, Evan Longoria and Jackie Robinson, which the fact that might be I, the I listen, no-brainer of no-brainers. Evan Longoria be- has had a great career, you know, as, as a ball player. Um, <laughs> you know, he famously that the home run in game 162 to send the race to the playoffs. But good Lord, like, how are we talking? Why is Evan Longoria on a list of best baseball players of all time? Yeah. Um, and the next one, and, and I'm shocked uh, that the Rays one, couldn't Williams, claim Stanton. Wade Boggs as I don't think the we greatest need to player Ted of all Williams time. Right now, because he's going to have a a tough bracket ahead of him. Yeah, yeah. Ted Williams, easy. Also, uh, going to be cloned in a few years. That's true. We will see Ted him is uh, probably within the next ten years. <laughs> we'll have yeah. to do a bracket again Welcome in back, about Ted. twenty after his ten year career as a clone, and we'll see. Um, George Brett and Bob Feller. <laughs> I mean, it's tight, but I'm going to have to go with George Brett. 3,000 hit <laughs> guy, World Series champion, Kansas City lifer, now in the front office as part of his deal, his last contract with the right, with the uh, Royals. We couldn't compete with what the Yankees were offering him, but effectively we paid him for his life because he's now an executive. We're still technically paying him for his playing career. So uh, technically two world, two-time World Series champion, once as an exec, once as a player. Um, George Brett has uh, he has a statue, thirteen All Star appearances, one MVP in the nineteen in nineteen eighty after he hit three ninety, which is crazy. Um, he also retired as a three hundred five career hitter with three seventeen home runs. Bob Feller 
and I, I'm I'm also going with George Brett here, which is crazy. 279 complete games, but a 325 career ERA, which isn't horrible. That's not horrible whatsoever. But I think back to then, especially, that's worse than I think you would expect. There are guys um, put up like one fives and one four ERAs. Yeah. yeah, so I'm I'm going George Brett here, um, which again people might not be super happy about. I'm not sure. Uh, Randy Johnson and Kirby Puckett. Randy Johnson, most notably known for closing out uh, the end of Little Big League. Uh, <laughs> clearly most notably known for that. Um, One of the greatest but, strikeout uh, pitchers of all time. Mm-hmm. Now, did Kirby Build Puckett, a bird. he did. He's a, and he's a heck of a photographer. Absolutely. I don't know. Kirby Puckett, I'm just going to double check. He won four him. consecutive Cy Youngs. Yeah, and Kirby Puckett is neither a 500 home run nor a 3,000 hit nor a like an elite type MVP type guy. Did he ever win? No, he is in the Hall of Fame, 10-time All-Star. No, his, uh, I'm, going, I'm going Johnson. Randy. Got it. In his yeah. time with the Diamondbacks, he went 118 and 62. He had a 283 ERA with 2,000 strikeouts, <laughs> 1,600 innings. When people were on steroids and he was still putting up numbers. If I was going to say, give me a, a pitcher to pitch – one game I need a win to save my life. It's between Randy Johnson and the next guy we're going to talk about here. One of the next guys. Uh, Roy Halladay and Nolan Ryan. Uh, Nolan Ryan literally invented the fastball. Basically. It feels like he invented like the 100-mile-an-hour fastball. Um, yeah. Six no-hitters, in, or is it seven? Is it seven? seven no-hitters, no Cy Youngs. Seven no-hitters, no Cy Youngs. Um, mm-hmm. Roy Halladay. Great, but great pitcher. Um, but I mean, it's Nolan Ryan. That's yeah. that's all we have to say. Roy Halladay did throw a perfect game in the playoffs, which was incredible. However, mm-hmm. it's Randy Johnson. I mean, it's Nolan Ryan. Yeah. I mean, well, and Roy Halladay that was for Philly as well. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. Oh, you're right. We I got mean, him in as a Toronto as a Blue Jay. Toronto. He is in. Yeah. As Next a, as one Blue. is it's for Ber- it's for Brooklyn. Yeah. Todd Helton, congrats on being inducted in the Hall of Fame, but. Roberto Clemente is the greatest right fielder of all time mm-hmm. and one of the greatest people of all time. So, yeah. Um, Ricky Henderson and Cal Ripken Jr. Ricky Henderson is the man of steel. He is the steel king. He, the amount of bases that he's stolen, like is thinking about the number compared to how bases are stolen today is yeah. insane. It is insane. Like what? We can even look up. Let's see, MLB. So we have the we have the Man of Steel versus the Iron Man. That's true. Uh, Superman wins that fight every single time. Nobody tell <laughs> me any different that that Superman would lose to Iron Man. That is a that is like so Marvel recency bias that they did a they did a crossover in the '90s with Marvel and DC, and I'm pretty sure Superman Superman did hold. Uh, <coughs> But how do you, Thor's hammer, I, I still never know how to pronounce it. Mjolnir, yeah. Mjolnir. Um, he was able to hold that, and Iron Man never was. So don't come at me with that bullshit that Iron Man could beat Superman. <laughs> That's crazy. So are you going with Ricky Henderson based on that? I would. I would take, no, no. I would take Ricky well, over Cal. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. I would. No, take, I, 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 would. I would say straight up, I would rather have Ricky Henderson than Cal Ripken. Okay, Cal Ripken's consecutive game record is incredible. He's an excellent player. I think his legacy is inflated because of that record more than his playing career. Granted, super great player, but when I hear people talk about like the greatest of all time, they want to put Cal Ripken Jr. in the discussion, and I think that's lunacy. Ricky Henderson led the league with 130 stolen bases in 1982. Yeah. And that is w- so like for for context, if you want to if you want to look at it, um Jorge Mateo in 2022 led the mm-hmm. league, led the American League with 35 stolen bases. Yeah, uh, and last John year Curry had 70, and it's 73. still like half of. And people, they stopped the game. They stopped the game so they could celebrate him picking up 73. And Ricky Henderson had almost double that, which obviously, you know, that was. It, it also had to do with the home runs, but still, yeah, but. That Ricky is Harris insane. was really fat. He also had 3,000 hits, 297 home runs, and 111 career war. Yep. So he's not just a stolen base guy. He's like one of the elite hitters. 
he could hit for power, his 3,000th hit, or was it his 3,000th hit, or when he set the runs, uh, the total bases record or run scored record, he hit a home run to do it. I think it was his 3,000th hit, he hit a home run to do it. I want to look up Cal Although, Ripken just real quick. Cal Ripken, um, 19 All-Star games and won two MVPs, yeah. as well as uh, he, you know, he beat Gehrig's game, consecutive games played, and he had 430 home runs. That's really tough. I would still go Henderson. Although and I'm by no means Cal Ripken, I'm by no means a Cal Ripken hater. Cal, Rip, uh, Cal Ripken, his wife slept with Kevin Costner, and the Orioles had to knock power out of the stadium so he could go beat up Kevin Costner. So um, is that a real thing? No, I, I have no clue. I think I think it's a I think it's a very crazy rumor. But um, yeah. he was cucked by Kevin Costner. So so then Ricky Henderson. <laughs> Ricky gotta, I'm going to go Ricky cut. Anderson. That's our first upset. That is our first yeah. upset of the day. Um, I guess our first big upset because uh, George Brett over Bob Feller. Um, yeah. And then Tony Gwynn and Frank Thomas to play Tony Hank Gwynn, Aaron in the next round. Tony Gwynn, move him on. To yeah, get Tony just Gwynn. manhandled by Hank Aaron in the next round. Um, Tony Gwynn. I have to look up his stats um, about strikeouts. He struck out like 39 times in a season once. Uh, he had more in your career. Kid. He averaged yeah. 21.2 Ks per season. He had more. Um, hey, dogs. No, no. That's he insane. had more college assists than career strikeouts. He's incredible. He, and give him his flowers now because this is where the road stops for Tony Gwynn, unfortunately. Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, this is not. Do you want to start from the bottom? However. Yeah, let's start yeah. at the bottom. We'll move our way up. Hank Aaron. Easy. Hank Aaron. Send him on the way. Um, he's he's going. Uh, moving on to the next round. Roberto Clemente, Clemente and Ricky Henderson. Clemente. Clemente, easy. Um, no problem. Uh, Randy Johnson and Nolan Ryan. This one's a tough one. Um, Randy Johnson is literally one of the most physically imposing pitchers in in my opinion, like he literally, they put, players will say he literally just places the ball in the catcher's yeah. Like he doesn't even throw it; he just puts it in there very easily. Um, hey, Cookie and Ricky, Stop. they're not happy. They're not happy no, about they're... me talking up Randy Johnson. Yeah. Okay. So Randy Johnson is a better pitcher than Nolan Ryan, and I stand by that. However, Nolan Ryan's career stats are unbelievable. It's like you look at it and you think you're looking at somebody from the 1910s who just played, he just pitched nine innings every other day. But he Randy did it. Johnson did it in the steroid era. Yeah, but Nolan Ryan struck out like the most. Was it the, did he have 4,000 strikeouts? I forget the exact number, but it's mind boggling. 5,719. I said 4,000 because 4,000 is a ton of strikeouts. And he had 5,700. Yeah, we got to go with I, – I think we got to go Nolan Ryan here, which is like I can't believe that Randy Johnson's getting bounced in the second round because I, know. I love Randy Johnson. The I think I think the thing that does hurt him as well, like his legacy, is kind of that back end where he went a bunch of places and he wasn't quite – It was quite, bad. Play for the Giants. Well, so listen to this, Nolan Ryan. Uh, seven no-hitters, 12 one-hitters, 18 two-hitters, 31 three-hitters, all complete games. Then, okay, I mean, stop it. You're, hey, stop. God, these dogs. Uh, he also has the lowest career batting average allowed at 204. The next most no hitters is four. He has almost double the amount of no hitters as the next next guy up. Yeah, I'll go no so, here, which is sad. Yeah, that's sad that Randy Johnson gets bounced so early. Um, yeah. Ted Williams and George Brett. I mean, Ted Williams literally went to war and then came back and was exactly the same player. We have yeah. to bounce George Brett. I'm sorry. I'm but casting my vote for George Brett, and then we can move Ted Williams along. Yeah. Ted Williams. Which is unfortunate. I mean, George Brett. Okay, so George Brett technically is the closest to Ted Williams' 400 mark. They would say Tony Gwynn, but Tony Gwynn did it in the shortened season. Tony Gwynn hit like 395. But he had it, it was a it was the lockout shortened season. Not that I don't count it, but there is definitely it's it's iffy there. If it's a shortened season, it just doesn't count. If you're not playing yeah. the the amount of games that 
you know, you normally play, like it's unexpected, I don't think it counts. Um, George Brett said he had reporters knocking on his door at three in the morning trying to get an interview with him in like the last four weeks of the season. He had to hire security so that he could sleep. He had to hire guard dogs because reporters were climbing the wall in front of his house trying to get pictures of him and get get just a, like a snippet with him uh, about the pressure of a 400 season. And he would have done it, he says, had he really been able to just focus on baseball. But, you know, the media is part of the game. So Ted Williams Ted Williams had to focus on war. Yeah, World War II. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, and, he, and he hit 400. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I'm going to give it just, to Ted. I'm there. just speaking my piece on Brett. And yeah. next up, uh, Jackie Robinson. Tim Griffey and Jackie Robinson. Um, yeah, Jackie. Yeah, it's got to be Jackie. It's got to be. Willie Mays and Ernie Banks, although he is Mr. <laughs> Cub, Willie Mays is a top is Mr. five. Mr. Baseball. Mr. Baseball, is, top five. He's like ball player yeah. of all time. Oh, 100%. Um, moving him on. Uh, Pete Rose and Ty Cobb. These are the two worst people. He's like the <laughs> two of the worst of people. Oh, my God. In baseball. Pete Rose versus Ty Cobb. Um, how many people you think would show up for? How many people you think would show up for Pete Rose's funeral if he died right now? Because like four people showed up to Ky, Ty Cobb's funeral, not even his own family. As many as uh, I think he would get more. The, the gambling <laughs> community is very tight, very tight. Um, definitely more than who's showing up for OJ's. Uh, <laughs> All right, Pete. I, I think I put the over. I think I set the over under at fifteen people showing up for OJ's funeral. So. Um, Pete Rose, again, the all-time hit king. Uh, Ty Cobb. Broke Ty Cobb's record. Broke Ty Cobb's record. Based on that alone, Ty Cobb also, at one point, was the hits and the stolen base king. So he had his record. also played, he played before there were uh, black people left or allowed in baseball. And they played with, like, a piece of rolled-up leather as a baseball. So it's probably a lot easier to steal second. Yeah, when the base is a burlap sack and your ball is just a bundle of leather, so yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, string, it's like string and leather. That's all it is. It's not even tied together. They just like glued yeah. it all. <laughs> they um, they didn't really wear glo- uh, 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 mitts either. It tells you how hard they were actually throwing their mitts. Babe just Ruth like, and Stan Musial. Uh, Babe Musial. I, I keep saying it wrong. I think. Uh, I do think Babe Ruth is one of the more overrated ball players of all time. I agree. Um, he, but he's better than Stan Musial. He's Babe Ruth. Um, he is. He is better than Stan Musial. Uh, but he is. He is one of the most overrated <laughs> ball players of all time. Um, he's he also better than Pete Rose. Era. Also better than Pete Rose. Better than Pete Rose. I will give mm-hmm. it to them. Um, Pete Rose again, the all-time hits king. But Babe Ruth, you know. He's Babe Ruth. Like I think he's also synonymous. I think I think you do have to take that into account as a ball player. Just as a ball player is how impactful they were to baseball. Babe Ruth yeah. has to. You can't knock him out this early. Um, he's the he is the Michael Jordan of baseball. He's he's the reason baseball gained like popularity across the country. They started broadcasting baseball games on the radio so people could hear what Babe Ruth was doing. Mm-hmm. So it's he, just like he was also an accomplished pitcher as well. So you can't forget about that. Before you know, when he was with the Red Sox, he was a very accomplished pitcher, and, and he wasn't Babe Ruth's, always slow. That's true. Babe Ruth he could steal also bases in his prime. The the trade of Babe Ruth literally buried the Boston Red Sox franchise for eighty six. Yes, and like, he built Yankee Stadium. That I'm not sure I believe really that he built the entire it by himself, city of Boston. But they say it's the house that Ruth built. Oh, old Yankee Stadium. Yeah. Um, Babe Ruth doesn't have 3,000 hits. He did. Holy well, he played for 15 seasons, hitting 349 with 659 homers and a one or a 1.195 OPS. Yeah, that's that's pretty damn good. Um, yeah. Although he is not the hit king, he's not even close to the hit king. So uh, he's Willie Mays the and Kings. yeah, Willie Mays and Jackie Robinson, two of uh, the. Pioneers for baseball, especially like black baseball in America. That's so hard. Um, that, this is the toughest is, one yet. Yeah. I would vote for Jackie Robinson. Well, so I, I'm, I'm going to use someone else's somewhat of, of their own uh, rankings. Willie Mays, 
was ranked uh, as a top center fielder or second best center fielder of all time. All right. Ty Cobb is actually the only other one that you could say would be better than Willie Mays as a center fielder. Um, this is also, I think, according to Bill James, uh, Bill James ranked Jackie Robinson as 32nd versus Willie Mays being third of an all time player. Um, Willie Mays led in slugging OPS, OPS plus war home runs, runs, RBIs, hits, stolen bases, and MVPs versus Jackie Robinson leading in batting average and on base percentage. But Jackie so, Robinson, only, he, half his career was taken. That's true. When did Willie Mays? Because I know w- Willie Mays did play in the Negro Leagues, right? Yeah. Let me see. <coughs> what what year? How old was he when he came over? Okay, he was he, he was twenty when he came into the league. Jackie was twenty, or he was twenty eight when he came in. So Mays got eight years on him. But we can go with Willie Mays. Willie Mays was probably a better baseball player. Even though Jackie was already had already reached his prime, he was like a year past what would have probably been his best season in the majors. Yeah, I um, I I think again that hurts, but like you have to take it for what it is as yeah. as a ball player, right? You you do have to take it for what it is as a major league baseball player. So, and it's sad that Jackie like lost that time. He didn't get to be in that. Or he he didn't get to uh, show what he truly would have been in the majors, um, but we have to take it for what it is. And Jackie just didn't have the numbers to be there. I think that's you know it is what it is. Uh, Ted Williams versus Nolan Ryan. Ted Williams, it's got to be Ted. It, it has to be Ted. Again, he literally went to war and came back and was still still what he was. Um, the only reason the Red Sox actually didn't win the 1946 World Series was because Ted Williams uh, took a shot or was hit in the arm with a baseball in the elbow, and he broke his elbow but played through it yeah. in that World Series, probably and they took the Cardinals to seven good. games. Probably uh, not as good as he could have been with a broken elbow. Yeah. Generally, yeah. that'll knock you down a few pegs, statistically. And we still took those Cardinals to seven games, and they had to have the mad dash to yeah. to beat us. Um, so, which is hilarious that Red, the Red Sox like still celebrate the the forty six team and the seventy five team as if they won the World Series those years. <laughs> like the Fisk home run and <laughs> the Fisk home run where he's waving it, they like celebrate yeah. it as like, oh, that was the walk off to win the game. Like we won that World Series. <laughs> yeah, it's like no. Close. I think as a young kid, I thought we did win those World Series. I was like, yeah. Because everyone would talk about eighty six years. I was like, well, how? Because we won in forty six and seventy five. And it was like, no, you, you no, we just got close. It was close. <laughs> we got really, really close. <laughs> Roberto Clemente and Hank Aaron. It's it's Hank Aaron. It's Hammer it's and Hank. Hank. It's Hammer and Hank. My um, other Hank favorite Aaron baseball is- player, Jackie Robinson, Roberto Clemente, but Hank Aaron. We just talked on a podcast like seven days ago about seven how days freaking ago. good Hank Aaron was. Yeah. Hank Aaron was phenomenal. Mm-hmm. All right, so we've kind of gone chalk. Like, everything's kind of worked out here, although it has been interesting how we've kind of gone through the list. Um, yeah. Hey, we have a one versus five and a two versus three. So that's somewhat chalk, but at the same time, we've had some upsets along the way. But, again, the cream rises to the top. Babe Ruth and Willie Mays. <laughs> I, Babe Ruth, Willie Mays, it's Willie Mays. Babe Ruth killed his wife. <laughs> Did he really? In a house fire. <laughs> no, the, again, that's another rumor. Um, his his ex wife did die in a house fire, um, so there is a real rumor that he did. But I don't, I don't, I don't think it happened. But you never know. Um, but Willie Suspicious. Mays is just objectively, in in my opinion, he is the better ball player. Like he, yeah. Babe Ruth again played before the Civil Rights Act. He he played before World War Two even happened. <laughs> yeah, I mean, World War One was still going on when he was playing ball. So <laughs> I, I don't I don't know how we can, yeah. It's just, it's not him. It's it's Willie Mays. Um, 32, Willie 32 Mays. 93 hits, 660 home runs, 301 career batting average, two MVPs. How many all stars? Oh, there's too many. Uh, too many all stars put on here right now. Uh, World Series champion, 24 time All Star, 12 Gold Gloves, two time All Star Game MVP. Yeah, 
Holy moly. Some of these guys, you, you like, you, you know how good they are. Then you look at their accolades. It's like, they're even better than you think. <coughs> He's one of those guys. 32. How many 3000 hit 600 home run guys are there? Aaron Pujols, Mays. Who else? How many 3,600? Uh, Bar- Barry wasn't there, right? He didn't have 3,000 hits. I don't think Barry Bonds had 3,000 hits. I'm going to look this up because it's a it's a very small group. I know the only 700, 3,000 is uh, Pujols and Aaron. Yeah, Aaron, A-Rod, Aaron, Willie Mays, and Pujols. There's four. So one of four. And they're probably going to go up against each other here in the finals because Ted Williams if, and if- Hank Aaron – I think I think even more for uh, talking up Willie Mays, Babe Ruth never played night games. Like they they rarely played night games when Babe Ruth was playing. Um, the fielding was horrible at that time. Like and you even have to think about the quality of the fields. Like and obviously he's not playing against there. There is like what percentage of people were white at that time? Like it was probably like fifty percent of human beings were probably white at that point. Um, you're fifty mm-hmm. percent of the population just could not play baseball at that point. Including they just could all not. Of those, yeah, including. I mean, if you're counting, if you're counting the South Americans, Caribbean, um, mm-hmm. Japanese, and Asian, uh, the 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 best baseball playing country, Japan. I don't know if they even really started playing baseball yet, because they discovered baseball through the World War. Yeah. So, and arguably, well, Japan mean, is the best baseball co- playing country. About Willie Mays, baseball like, classic. Yeah, Willie Mays still he played against better players. He the Babe Ruth just has the asterisks forever. And Babe, I'm yeah. not knocking what Babe Ruth did. If he played against black players, if he played against all other, you know, he played against other players, and he put those numbers up, then he is unequivocally, in my mind, the greatest ball player of all time. But play, <laughs> he not, play, he played before World War Two. <laughs> played before yeah. any of this stuff. Um, so it's just not him. And then Ted Williams and Hank Aaron, this is like battle of the, this is the real battle of the Titans here. Um, obviously I think three versus two is almost a better matchup in my opinion. Yeah. It's gotta be hammer and Hank. It's so, Hank. Yeah. Cause um, he's like we said, if, if you guys are listening to this and you go back and listen to our podcast last week, we had our, our draft. We went in, a little more in detail about Hank Aaron being like number one in almost everything. Total bases, RBIs, runs scored, second all time in home runs, uh, 20 seasons with 20 or more home runs. He's a monster. And for 3,700 hits, he's third all time in hits and second all time in home runs. They just did a thing on MLB Network too, Hank Aaron Day. Uh, so commemorate him hitting. Uh, number 715 700 home runs 37 you take all of his home runs away he's still a 3,000 hit guy well and and Williams was also more known for hitting for average right like he was Mm -hmm. very well known he's you know he's going to have a really high batting average Hank Aaron is more well known for his power hitting he still had a career batting average of 305 even as a power hitter so it has to be Hank Aaron here um yeah sorry and I love Ted Williams I just, I love Ted Williams. I love everything about him. He fought, you know, he's a fighter pilot. His head's frozen right now. He'll be back soon. <laughs> yeah. Can't uh, how does that work if he again. comes back? How does he work? If, how does it work if he comes back? Is he you immediately have to put him into up? Little League. No, he would have to come back as a newborn baby. I believe that's how it works. You have to, he, Ted Williams would have to come back to big. Right now, Ted Williams is 11 months old. You have <laughs> 17 years and one month until he's back in the majors Pitchers, be, beware. Um, and then the final, Willie Mays, Hank Aaron. Uh, extreme. I mean, this is the tough, toughest of the tough, right? You, you have to – this is the discussion here. This is, you know, best player of all time. Uh, I don't know. Where, where are you thinking right now? Um, I think I think Willie Mays was a better defensive player than Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron was a better offensive player, but not by yeah. much. Not Really not by much. Uh, I mean, you look at <coughs> Mays' all-time stat line, his his war is higher, career batting average is higher, didn't play as long. Willie Mays played 22 years. Wait, no. How long is that? He was a 25-time All-Star. So, yeah, he played four. He was an All-Star every single year of his career except his rookie year and the last year he played. 
I think I think Willie Mays was the better all around player. Just in general, he was faster. Um, he obviously didn't hit for power like Hank Aaron did. He had 660 he home runs. Better, yeah, like you can't even. He has 600 something home runs versus he obviously hit for Hank power like Hank Aaron, but yeah. he is like one of the five or six best home run hitters of all time. Um, Hank Aaron he was also a slouch an fielder. Yeah, he could. He was fast. He could steal bases. Yeah, most stolen bases. Well, hold on, Hank Aaron in. His in 1959 had 11 triples, 30 or 20 doubles. The next year he had 10 triples, 39 doubles. So Hank Aaron wasn't slow, and he yeah. has three Golden Gloves. I think you're right. I think it is Willie Mays, but we just have to clear up that Hank Aaron was in his prime, extremely fast, could hit home runs, singles, doubles, and triples, mm-hmm. and was not a bad fielder. He just wasn't an elite defender. Willie, Willie Mays, Mays is, oh, yeah, Willie Mays yeah, was. might be the greatest uh, defensive player of all time. So, well, I think you're right. It's 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 Willie Mays. We're going Willie. Congratulations to Willie Mays on winning the uh best player of all time draft. I think I think he would earn a bracket. I think even if we did like no team representatives if we just went through the top 64 I think Willie Mays is still there. You just cut out for just a moment. Um, If you go through the top 64 baseball players of all time, it's still Willie Mays to me, based on based on everything that I've seen now. Yeah. Um, So yeah, that's it. Um, Congrats to Willie Mays. Also, um, OJ Simpson has died. (laughs) I didn't. I didn't want to cover that at the top. I wanted to cover that at the end. Noticed I didn't say rip to OJ. (laughs) <laughs> I did. He rushed for if, uh, He's I, if That's true. I mean, listen, he, he may have been crazy, but running for 2,000 yards in a 14-game season is also crazy. Like, my, that's what my mom – I was talking about it with my mom. She doesn't understand. O.J. Simpson ran for 2,000 yards. <laughs> Although uh, people, people saying he was innocent, he was, first off, he was acquitted, so I'll give them that. He was also guilty of armed robbery, battery, and kidnapping in Las Vegas. So Yes. He's not an innocent Still man. He's not innocent a good guy. of murder. Yeah. He's innocent of murder. He's guilty of everything else. I think his son killed both of I think oh, his I do son too. was the murder. We'll have to, you know, maybe we'll have to do a, a, an episode on that as the death gets further away. Um, <laughs> I also at some point want to talk episode. about, I want to talk about Rishi Rice at some point. So maybe we'll have to hop back on as that story develops. Well, I guess, yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on Rashid Rice? He should never play football again. Chiefs should cut him. Yeah, uh, that's that, I, th- so. Did so, nobody died in that? Correct. No, that, but there were right? serious. Nobody there died. were serious injuries, and yeah. he was driving 118 miles an hour on the freeway, racing in a rented car. Like you're, you know, that's not a good idea. Like if someone asked him ahead of time, like, "Hey, do you think racing in a Lamborghini on the interstate is a good idea?" And if he said yes then you're too stupid to be playing professional sports anyway. And the yeah. only reason you could have afforded to do that is because of your contract as a star football player. Mm-hmm. Um, if that's what you do with your money, I don't want the Chiefs to give him any more money. So I'm a per- I have very, very little sympathy for reckless drivers, drunk drivers. Like I just, people say, oh, they made a mistake while they're driving. I just don't care. <laughs> you're putting... So many, there's families out there, like the Henry Ruggs thing. People are like, he made a mistake. I'm like, well, so a mistake does, that, yeah, a mistake. does that person if I go, if I, if, if I go into my gun safe, take my gun, walk outside, and shoot into the air, if that bullet comes out and hits somebody, no, I wasn't intending to kill someone, but the actions that I took part in did. It, it, you did yeah. hurt someone. So your in, intent and doesn't you still- matter in that situation. It's, quote, a mistake, but you purposely chose to reckless drive. Like, you know how to not reckless drive. You know how to put, you know, 10 and 2. You know how to go the speed limit, even, like, a few over, like, you know, 4 to 5 over the speed. I mean, we're in Florida. Like, <laughs> sometimes you just going, have to go. If he was going 80, if he was going 80, and I would say, oh, I was stupid. You should get a six-game suspension. He was going 118 miles an yeah. hour. You were trying to see how fast you could go with yeah. other people around who are just trying to drive their cars to or from work, go home. There are children in cars. It it so easily could have ended with an entire family being killed 
you it's it's beyond me and no and i don't that's care why, they that's why i believe touchdowns. we should have testing done we should have testing done more often like you should have to re-up your license through an actual driver's test and yeah. we should also be more strict with how we like take like you sh- if you're doing shit like that like your license should be taken away <laughs> like Forever. i don't understand why these people are ever al- like tiger woods why is tiger woods ever allowed to drive his car he is repeatedly shown he cannot be responsible with his car he is also a billionaire and i love tiger woods as a golfer i was rooting for drive. him this weekend yeah. although hire he someone to drive really places. like why do you yeah why does he not constantly have someone just driving him places that is insane there are these people yeah. that They've been in like seven car accidents. It's all their fault. Like all of them are their fault, or maybe even half of them are their fault. It's like, why are you still allowed to drive your car? Like you can, exactly. I mean, I know our public transportation sucks here, but you, you made the choices. Like you, you have to deal with having to get to work now because you just cannot choose to drive your car in a safe yeah. manner. You're putting thousands of other people in danger every single day. It's crazy. Um, so uh, we're going to wrap up right there. Uh, <laughs> that's why I wanted to cover that at the back end of the show, because yeah. not a, not an awesome topic. Um, yeah. But we will uh, or make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and we will see you on Thursday. Can't wait. Whoops.